Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Today, I've got a first impressions video for you. It's my first impressions of this Inkvent gift. This is a pilot pen. Now, on the Inkvent calendar, I did open the box, so I know that in here is a Pilot E95S, sometimes known as a Pilot Elite. Join me now down on the mat. We'll take a look at the pen, look, walk through the body, do some quick size comparisons, a writing sample, then I'll give you my first impressions, my initial thoughts on this pen. Welcome down to the mat. Here we've got the box. So we've got on the front, we've got Pilot, the side ZCRHN. I'm thinking that's some kind of stocking code. We've got, I'm assuming this is to do with recyclables. Got the barcode, it says there, doesn't it? E95S medium deep red. Then we're back to the front. Then the ends, they're just really standard things for opening a box. Let's see what's inside. Slides out nice and easy. That reveals a black box. Again, we've got a barcode on the bottom saying what it is, so it's very clear what we're getting. We'll open up the box. There we go. And inside, what have we got? The first thing we have is some instructions how to fill with ink. Got some pictures with that. Then on the reverse, what have we got there? Looks like it's some kind of care details. Pop that to one side. We've also got care instructions. So in here, we've got some instructions. That's something for me to read later on. So open it again, it won't stay open. Ah, now we've got to open. Inside the top of the box, we've got the word pilot there, just on a black background. Then we've got the main event here. This is the Pilot E95S. Just going to ease this out. Let's just do a quick spin around. Then we'll look through the body in a second. We've also got a Pilot cartridge. Underneath the bed, there's just some white card. So we'll pop that to one side. Let's fetch in the pen though. That's what we're here for, isn't it? So here's the pen, the Pilot E95S. Looks quite small when I'm looking at this at the moment. We'll walk through the body. So on the top here, it's got a, I would say a very slight dome. It might be flat, but I don't think so. I think I think there's a bit of a dome. I'm just trying to stand it up. Won't stand up. I think it, as I say, it's domed. We're coming into the cap. So we come down. Then we've got a gold colored ring going around. I can't feel a seam. I think there might be one, but it's very difficult to feel. We come and then we come then into the clip. Clip, is it springy or not? Can't really get my finger onto it. I don't really use the clips though, so I'm not overly worried. I use them more as a roll stop. The clip's got a nice shape. So we've we're coming up, we've got this nice diamond cut out there. That's reflecting the light where the sides aren't. Then we come down into the rest of the clip and that runs down about halfway down the cap. The cap itself, we can see it's tapering out till it gets roughly to the bottom of the clip. So about half to two thirds of the way down, then it seems to be the same width. On the cap, I'm just gonna turn it this way so we can see. We've got, well, I won't, I'll turn it that way. I was looking at it upside down. We've got an E. This is a Pilot Elite, our Pilot E95S. Depending where you are in the world is what the actual name is. When I bought this, I bought this in Australia and it was advertised as an E95S. The box is marked up as an E95S, but we've got the E, the Elite mark in there on the pen. Just turning this around. We've got Pilot Japan and turn around again. So coming from the cap, you can feel a little step down. Not very much. Then we come into this very short body. This is in this nice, deep, 
I know they call it red, I would say it's more like a deep burgundy or a very deep crimson colour. Seems to be the same width for about maybe a centimetre and a half. Then we start to taper down till we get to the flat bottom. Will it stand up on the bottom? Let's try it. No, it won't stand up there either. I've got a couple of pens where the flat bottoms will let you stand it up. Let's take a look at the business end though. What I'm going to do is ease the cap off. The cap is a pull off. It's fairly tight. You can actually feel it against the pen. So it's not something you can easily pull off by accident. Then we keep coming until we reveal this absolutely stunning nib. Let me just move this so it's in focus. There we go. So on the nib, we've got at the top, we've got 14K-585. That's the gold content. Underneath that, we have the word pilot. Under that, we've got the M for medium. Below that, we've got Japan. And then right at the very bottom, we've got P622, which I believe is related to the month that the nib was manufactured. As it stands, this pen is very small. Look at that. That's going to be very difficult for me to write with. Once I put the cap on, though, the cap actually posts very deeply down and it covers the whole of the body. But then look at this. We've got a very decent sized pen. Very nice. Very good idea. Turning something that's quite small into quite a large pen. It's time now to do some size comparisons. Today I've got three pens for my size comparison. I've got my standard two, which is the Lamy Safari and the Pilot Metropolitan. So I used these two in all my videos. I've also brought out the Kaveco Sport, which is another pocket size pen, which is really where this Pilot Elite, this Pilot E95S is aiming for. So looking at that, you know, with that cap on, very much smaller than my two standard ones. I expect that but a little bit longer than the Kaveco Sport. Let's take the caps off and look at the nibs. So uncapped, you know, as we expect the Elite, the E95S, that is a lot shorter than the Safari and the Metropolitan. But now when we look at it compared to the Kaveco, the Pilot is ever so slightly longer. So for them quick one or two words that you may want to write, you may get away with this E95S using it unposted. The nibs, we've got the standard Lamy nib. We've got the small, I think it's a number five sized steel nib there on the Metropolitan. Then we've got the small Kaveco nib. I love the way this nib looks. I like the inlaid look. Yes, it may make it a bit more difficult when I want to clean it. That's something I'll have to look at. How can I remove the nib if I want to give it a really good deep clean? But that's a problem for another day. It's also the only gold nib out of the four pens here. Let's take a look at them posted. Posted, that E95S there now, that started to come into its own, isn't it? It's got a nice length on it. Yes, it's not as long as the Safari posted or the Metropolitan posted. I use neither of those pens posted anyway. I actually use them unposted. And I'll, we'll look at that in a second. It's also longer than the Kaveco Sport. I also like that idea. I like the sport, it's handy, but I think that extra, maybe centimetre, just over a centimetre, that will make a difference when I'm using this, certainly for long form writing. I'm going to do one final comparison. I'm going to take the caps off the Safari and the Pilot Metropolitan. Not quite a fair comparison because we're comparing posted versus unposted, but as I said, I use the Safari and the Metropolitan unposted. So this is actual use case, the difference in length. And here, that extra length on the Pilot E95S on the Elite, I think that might make a little bit of a difference. Again, I need to do some long form writing to validate that. Let's get these out of the way, then we'll ink up the pen. So here we've got the pen ready to have ink put in it. Today's ink holder is Quickly Koala. I always use these when I'm using die mine inks, and it's a die mine ink I've chosen to use today. I've decided to go for Diamine Syrah. I think it will be a good match for the colour of the body. I was going to use Writer's Blood, but I've got a number of pens inked up with that, and I've used it a lot this year. So I thought, let's use a slightly different colour. 
So I thought we'll go for Syrah. It's a nice wine named ink. I mean, who couldn't like an ink named after wine? So I've taken off the cap. We'll unscrew the body. Here we've got the converter. This is a standard pilot converter. Now, one thing I'm noticing, the converter is all the way at the top, but I can't see the bottom of the plunger. So I'll have no idea what the ink level is in here unless I remove that converter, which I don't plan to do at the moment. Let's see how I get on with it. If I find that I'm struggling with not knowing the ink levels, I may take the cartridge, clean it out and use that instead because I can eye drop on the cartridge. So let's move the plunger all the way down to the bottom. So the plunger is now down at the bottom. Pen goes into the ink, fits nicely into this bottle. So I've brought it up once, I go down again and fetch it up a second time. Right, hopefully we've got a nice full of ink. So the problem is I can't see. Just going to clean off the section and the nib, get rid of all the excess ink off there. So there we go, nice and clean now. I'll pop the pen back together and then we'll swap over and we'll take a look at writing on the notepad of testing. Here we've got the notepad of testing. This is Oxford Optic Paper. It's a really nice fountain pen friendly paper. And this is the paper I try and use for all my writing tests. There's the pen. So I say we're ready to go. One thing I will be doing this sticker here, I won't leave it on. After the video is over, I'll take that off and give it a good clean. So we're putting the pen together. Fits nicely together there. And let's try and write. So we've got a pilot. Elite. Slash. E95S with a medium nib. Do you know this is so nice to use? It's smooth. It's like I'm writing with glass. Now, although this was a gift for my wife, obviously I found out how much it was. It was 195 Australian dollars. The ink by Diamine. And it's Syrah. When I look at the ink there compared to the body, it's actually a really good match. I think I made a good choice with that. Let's look at drying times. So we go media. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. After a minute, that's more or less dry. Going to move the mic down to the page so you can hear the pen writing. If I could have spelled queen correctly, that would be nice. That is very, very smooth. Is there any line variation? So this is with no pressure. And to add a little bit of pressure, not really seeing much of a difference. Yes, it's slightly wider, but that could just be because of more ink going down. I'll do my S's. Yes, you, you know, we can see something there. I'm not putting too much pressure on, but there's enough we can see the down lines, they're wider than the up lines. Then my flow test. It keeps up really well. This is a gorgeous pen. As I say, it's nice in my hand. Unposted, just gonna move the page up ever so slightly. Yeah, it's possible to use unposted. There we go. Hello, how are you today? So it's possible. So if you're taking quick notes where you just need to pull the cap off very quickly, you can do that without posting. Let's move this page down again now. So what are my first impressions of this pen? Wow, this is gorgeous. When we're looking at the 
right in with this ink. We can see some shading coming through. We've got this nice, yeah, it's definitely a Japanese medium line. My usual preference is for broad nibs, but I quite like this one. The nib, to me, doesn't feel as soft as when I'm using my Pilot Custom Heritage 92. That's got a Pilot Medium Gold Nib on, but it feels about the same as using the Pilot Custom Heritage 823, again with a Gold Nib. Enjoyable to use, really nice. You know, it's light, it's not a heavy pen. It doesn't get in the way. On this bit of writing here, obviously I've been focusing on the pen, but the pen, it just feels like it's disappearing into my hand, which is also good, that's something else I like. It's a nice shape, it's unusual, it's very different than all the pens I've got. I think as a pocket sized pen might be a little bit on the big side. I need to try that out, but again, that will come as I use it more and more over the coming weeks. So it's something I'll look at when I'm doing a longer term review of this pen. But for now, this is my first impression of the Pilot Elite or the Pilot E95S and it's got Diamine Seurat ink. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I was gobsmacked when I saw this pen. You know, I can't believe that this was something my wife would get me during ink vent. I was expecting, you know, some Chinese pens. I was absolutely amazed with this. What are your thoughts on this pen? What other pens like this do you like? Please drop your comments down below. Let's kickstart the conversations. Please hit the thumbs up button. Every time you like, every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.